Hello everyone, I'm in a hurry to go to Verizon, yet again. This is my third time in one solid week. If it looks like I'm tired, I am. I forgot to put mascara on. My makeup is done, but I just rushed out the door to get to Verizon in time. I love being at Verizon. It seems like I have been at Verizon more times than I have been at Target in the past two weeks. I'm sick of being at Verizon. I'm sick of the slow wait. I'm sick of the whatever, but I'm gonna get that first appointment when they open. My phone will not get out of the shortcuts app. I can't open anything. I can't open even the notifications that are on the front screen. I can't open any of those. I can see them, I can read them. My kids' school internet is down and their system is down. So if they have teachers that are working from there, they can't teach school today. Luckily, my kids have teachers that work at home. So Chelsea and Ashley in elementary school are able to do their school just fine. Kaylee said that the, her website is down for this school, but she doesn't work off the website. So so that's fine they're doing school but I can't like not have my phone like it's, it's my life so I'm hoping Verizon can fix it I did a backup to my cloud yet like before I came down here and it had said that it had done an automatic download to the cloud like two days ago so hopefully I have all my data saved and maybe they can do a factory reset I literally can't even do a hard close like I can't even do a hard reboot on it it doesn't work you hit the power button and the home button or the power button and the down volume button to do a hard like reboot on the power it doesn't even do that so uh, I'm just I want to have a good day today Jason is off hiking and he took the drone so hopefully he can have fun and learn and practice with that I took it out yesterday Yesterday, it was a beautiful sunny day. I'll insert some beautiful cinemagraphic videos in the, in this video at some point, but I'm just waiting here at Verizon to start my lovely day. Yesterday, I'll just give you an update. I scheduled our appointment for our COVID testing for travel. I have to do that through Alaska Airlines Carbon Health testing site. It's a city away from us, and we have to schedule those appointments. Um, it does cost us quite a bit of money to do each of those tests on each one of us, but it's the cost of going to Hawaii folks right now and it's either have that extra expense or lose our entire trip like there's no getting a refund for us and I know a lot of people were able to get refunds we weren't we could have at the very last minute and it would have meant our entire trip would have been canceled and we would have had to start all over again and I don't know that we would have been able to get everything back and lined up so we are going to get COVID tested you have to get tested 72 hours before your trip and then we are also going to get COVID tested um, from a free site at a community college about a week before we go on trip on the trip so that I don't end up paying for the travel COVID testing if we're if any of us are positive our trip is just I mean it's just gonna be a complete loss if we have COVID and we don't know it that's what I did last night for two hours but that is scheduled and done and I need to schedule those tests at the community center or the community college I should say because I didn't realize oh they're opening up I gotta go I gotta go So, I am doing the old nail box trail. Did it probably a year ago. But anyways, great northwest day. Maybe, just maybe a long shot. When I get to the top, we'll be above the clouds. Probably not, but we'll give it a go. If there's no rain or anything, then I'm gonna try to get the drone up and get some beautiful shots of like the mountains up and the valley below. But otherwise, I'll get some snow at the top if there is any. Come along. Find a little push to the summit. It's up above there a little bit. All right, here is the summit. Little mailbox. That's why they call it Mailbox Peak. Um, quite snowy. Beautiful whiteout conditions. The wind is not, I mean, it could be worse, but uh, I'm gonna go back down. I will hopefully, it'd be so nice, it's so beautiful if you get up here when it's sunny, and uh, whether you take the old or new mailbox trail, it is worth doing, but uh, maybe I can show you some cool snow, trees, kind of drops off over there. Anyways, fun little hike. 
go back to town and see what the rest of the family's doing. Well, isn't that an angelic <laughs> view? It works! I'm so excited. The hard reset on the iPhone 8, in case you're wondering, is hitting the up volume, then the down volume, then holding the down volume, and the power button. No idea. But the guy even had to Google it himself. It's fixed, I'm going to Target. I need a few things and I wanna look at the dollar spot. And then they said that my glasses frames are in at Costco. So while I'm out, I'm gonna go and get that taken care of and the kids are all at school. So I'm ready to go and it's like barely 10 o'clock. Like they didn't even like sign me in and, and get my account or anything. The guy just walked me inside, turned my phone on. He's like, have a good day. And I was like, well, that was easy. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff at Target on clearance. I went in for, what did I go in for? Oh, I went in for foundation, which I got. But I got all these um, sunscreens on clearance. Look, you guys, this was normally $7.69 and I got it for $2.30, which we need these. Um, and then I got a travel size toothpaste, again for our trip. And then Alba, this is normally $10 and I got it for $4.79, so half off. And then I got one more of the face sticks. We use these all the time because for our faces um, and my forehead especially because I can't stand to put real sunscreen, like liquid, you know, like the creamy sunscreen on my face. And this one doesn't make my eyes like water when the sunscreen gets in it, you know, like after you've been swimming. Plus all of the ones I got are coral reef safe. I'm like big in keeping the coral reef safe and Hawaii has just passed a bill saying that they are no longer selling any sunscreens that are not coral reef safe in their state. So I can't even get like normal sunscreen there, which I do use normal sunscreen when we're in the pool like this. Um, I just got this copper tone uh, sport clear, goes on clear, feels cool. I think this will be good for Jason on his hikes and, but we can't use this one when we go in the ocean. So what I usually end up doing is doing the sprays or the non-coral reef safe sunscreen for like an hour, hour and a half of use while we're in the pool. And then it's worn off, have the kids dry off, towel off, and then they'll spray the, the coral reef safe sunscreen or put the face stick on that works for the, the ocean. So I can get use out of both types of sunscreen, but I know that I won't be able to buy the other type when we get to Hawaii, so I have to take as much of it as I can with me. And getting that one on half price is like a killer deal. So again, I got another toothpaste. I don't travel with a whole size toothpaste. We have three bathrooms in the place that we have, and it just helps to have a toothpaste in each bathroom, and there's no point in taking a large one. And I just got one package of gum. Chelsea is usually the only one on flights that have has a problem with her ears not popping. And so last time I had a pack of this for every single kid, but she's really the only one who needed to use it. So I'm just gonna put this into her travel bag. So a little travel haul for you. We are getting excited to go, but I still am nervous. You know, everything can still fall out, but those were too good of deals to not get regardless. So, now to Costco to get these glasses fixed. New glasses, check. the point in my day where I've checked all my emails, made all my scheduling, done all the things I need to do. There's no laundry to do because the teenagers don't bring their laundry down. So I don't do it, but got a package in the mail. It is a new um, comforter for our bed. We've had our duvet and duvet cover. Well, we had the duvet from, from Ikea probably for years and it won't stay in a duvet cover. It like fluffs all the way to the end and then all you have to cover yourself is the stupid duvet or the cover itself. And it, we're freezing in our freezing room and so I just, I said screw it. We're not gonna do the whole duvet and duvet cover anymore. I bought a white comforter, $17 on Amazon. 
I'm gonna change out the bed, which means I need to do the sheets, which I have an empty washer, so I can go and do that. But I'm also gonna go and do Chelsea and Ashley's room. They want to switch beds because Chelsea's a hot body. Oh, there's Jason. Are you on your way home? Yeah, I'm at the car. I'm getting on the road right now. How far away are you? Uh, it's like right in North Bend, like one of the last North Bend exits. Okay, someone's calling me. I'll see you soon. Okay, okay oh, bye. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. So the girls want to switch beds because Chelsea needs to be by the window because she's a hot baby. Hot baby. And you're not. You get cold. I'm very cold right you're now. You're very... I was standing by the fire. Well, you're wearing a summer shirt. I'm on my shirt. So, but the girls want to make that a separate video because they like to show their friends. Right? Nope. Should we make it a separate video? I think don't care. Your friends like to watch. But So we're going to leave that a separate video. But I'm going to go upstairs and, and redo my bed and get this blanket out. And then stay tuned for the girls to get a little revamp on their room. It also kind of came about because the shelf in their bedroom fell down. <laughs> Ashley, can you carry that bag upstairs? I'm collecting Hawaii stuff in my bedroom. So, stay tuned for that I and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bed we don't like to make anymore. And look, like this, clear to here, Too big. is like empty. The duvet starts here inside. And then it's like all down here. And you can it won't stay closed. So then it's like this pops open. And so you can't close So it. then my whole top half is not like covered. And it drives me nuts. This spot is more like. Yeah, that's why the girls like to come and lay on the bottom of my bed. Because it has all the cozy blankets and the cozy comforter underneath. <laughs> so actually let's pull this all apart. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go wash everything, but that looks like it's gonna be nice. And it's got like the quilted lines in it so that the fluff doesn't all like shove to the end. Okay, actually let's toss these down into the wash real quick. And then go to your room. Oh, dang. <sighs> this is why I can't get things done during the day, is that they're always on calls. It'll be okay, we'll go. Right, because Chelsea needs to be by the window because she is a hot body. Too hot at night, and I have to like push all my blankets to the end, which then they fall in the trash can underneath my desk. So then we have to wash them because they're all. Dirty. And then you end up at the bottom of my bed. Yeah. Yes. Should we show your mess over here, hon? There's not much of a mess. It's called pillows. This is how many pillows he sleeps with, you guys. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with three pillows. And a body pillow. No, that includes the body pillow. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. So here's his mess. So oh, look at that. No mess. Yeah, this I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. Melatonin, everyone in the family uses that. And look, it it's goes fine, in the drawer. It's fine. You like pillows for decorative sake. Yes. I find them functional. I have two pillows that I use and then I sleep then on my sliver with, of a bed. You decorate with a bunch. I find them all functional. And then and take them. up the entire bed. I don't like it. You're, you're doing yeah, you it you despite me snuggle, liking it. You just need to snuggle with me. I don't want it. You don't even like me doing that. You're the one that got me the body pillow for Christmas. I did. Whatever. <laughs> but I don't like the mess. Anyway, the bed is all done. And we had a couple extra blankets here. So we took them away. This is kind of nice to snuggle with when it's extra cold. 
but I like it. It's extra wrinkly, but, and yes, I like pillows to make our bed look nice, and this is the last time it's gonna look nice until we're probably going on vacation, so <laughs> it is what it is, and I think I'm gonna replace this guy. This will probably go back downstairs and get a new one in Hawaii. I need like a coral colored pillow cover. Definitely. Shut your hole. That's exactly what I was thinking, coral. If, if I found a Star Wars one, you would totally put Star it on our bed. <laughs> Maybe terracotta? Salmon? Just saying. Ladies, ream him <laughs> in the comments. Hey, they're impressed that I know terracotta and salmon. No, and also, should we see where the, oh, the bun. The bun has fallen. That's, I can always tell where I'm at in the day on where my bun is at. If it's like this, then I'm at the end of my day. <laughs> and we're literally just trying to kill time until the kids are done with their closing got, meetings. I got a fuzzy bun. I do have a fuzzy bun. But the kids are done, almost done with their classes. So we can get back into their bedroom and finish their bedroom, which is a separate video. Again, you'll I see would, that tomorrow. Maybe, maybe we eat out tonight, but there's nowhere to eat out, so what are we gonna do? I don't know, this is the struggle. <gasps> Ooh, one kid is done. Okay, we'll be back with you guys because we gotta finish another video and another bedroom. All right, so we are in the car. It's Jason and I. Oh, where's this? the rest of him? Abby's in the back, but we don't film. Abby? <laughs> but we are sneaking away. We just checked on Ashley and Chelsea. They're hang hanging out with their friends at the park. And Kaylee is at a different park with her friends. And we need to get out of the house. So we are sneaking to Chick-fil-A. But it's too expensive to pay for everyone. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? It's pricier for It's sure pricey, stuff. but it's so good. And Abby has a hard time finding food, like takeout food, that she likes. And so we're just treating her to the food that she really likes and kind of ditching out on everyone else, <laughs> leaving them at home. They won't ever know. We'll hopefully eat it we by the time. We'll never know. <laughs> the, no, we'll eat it on our way back. It takes like 25 minutes to get over to the nearest Chick-fil-A. So... You know, we'll just go and enjoy. Have a nice evening now that get it to go. Yep. It's always this busy and it's annoying. Every time people. Okay, we're gonna time it. 5.02. Chick-fil-A knows how to get it done. 5.02. See, we've already moved around the corner when you thought we were gonna be here for... What is that flash? Okay, we have ordered in just over 10 minutes. Nothing to say? Nothing to say? And we're right around the corner from Pang. We were just talking about how I sat in a line at McDonald's our power went out from a huge windstorm that came through here the other day and I think every parent brought every one of their children to McDonald's for lunch and it was a I talked to the lady when I finally made it to the to the window um, she's like it has been like this non-stop since we opened <laughs> or like I mean I guess they were open all the time but she said it was like two lanes from one side of the parking lot one lane from the other side non-stop to the street for hours and it took me a good, I don't know, half hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, just to get to getting my order taken. And then a whole lot longer after that, Chick-fil-A just knows how to do it. So, oh, and I couldn't back out of it. I couldn't get out of the parking lot. I had to order. Thank you. There's half of it. Um, lots of Chick-fil-A. Can you get a few more Chick-fil-A sauce? Can we get uh, a couple more Chick-fil-A sauce, please? There's usually... Um, no, there's probably enough. I don't know. Oh, do we Can have enough? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes. That is not bad at all. I don't know if you can even see the line. It's like three rows. Three rows five. deep. So, that was impressive. Yeah. What's oh, your... what? <laughs> I like it. You like it? Yeah. Here, you're coming, you're coming in too fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, what do you think, Ash? Oh, what happened up oh, there? Oh, we, we brightened it up. Oh. I think we're going to show the room tomorrow, so we can't show that, but... Yeah, you're showing her room. 
It's literally a, a little desk. Bit. You guys like it? Yeah. All right.